Christopher Norris here from mining.com.au. Joining me today is Managing Director of Lodestar Minerals, Ed Turner. Ed, great to see you again. And you, Christopher. Ed, Lodestar has received multi-element assays from more than 6,600 soil samples. Talk to us about what you found. Well, we found lots of anomalies, basically. We sampled large areas across the project. We've delineated 16 new anomalous areas outside of any areas we've sampled before or drilled before. They're uh, base metal anomalies, so it's a combination of copper, lead, zinc, and cobalt. We have a uh, full suite of 60 elements, actually, so the multi element suite um, enables us to also identify the underlying um, geological units, which are critical when we're trying to um, look for different styles of mineralization. So, for example, if we look at scandium and vanadium ratios and, and determine if there's volcanic rocks under, under the soil, under, under the surface cover which uh, is important or critical, really, if we're looking for VMS-style, like degrossa mineralisation. This is an MVT-style um, Chinook deposit, which Rum will have on the other side there, he Heaty Basin. So we look at all of the elements as, as well, and also some of them are pathfinders for gold mineralisation. When you don't necessarily see the, the gold at surface, um, we have associated elements which can indicate that there could be um, buried gold deposits there as well. So we're very happy we've identified all these uh, large anomalies and now we need to, to follow them up. Now that you have those 16 new base metal anomalies at the Arahiti project, what else does the company expect to identify in the near term and how much more project area does Lodestar have to assess? Well, first thing, uh, and starting from next week when we go back in the field, we do need to tighten up those anomalies with um, closer space infill sampling because they're still over large areas. So to delineate uh, more discrete anomalies, we'll do the immediate follow-up um, the infill between the, um, the wet space lines, that will enable us to, do, to um, determine what should be drilled and, and, and delineate uh, drill targets. So that's all happening over the next few months. Um, that's critical. But we still have about half of the project area uh, which we haven't sampled at all. So we'll be uh, commencing that sort of soil sampling as well uh, in, in the next month or so. And that will be ongoing over the rest of the year because it's a very large project. It's 1,400 square kilometres. So and it's never been um, properly tested before. So that is uh, our, our short-term focus. Beyond that, what else does Lodestar have in store for the second half of 2024? Well, hopefully we'll be drilling by the middle of the year and uh, we'll continue to delineate new drill targets. Um, like I said, these are all outside of the, uh, the area we drilled uh, last year when we did discover some, have some copper and gold hits. So that will be just an ongoing process. And we're planning to fund this with our, our shareholding in uh, future battery minerals. We still own 19 um, million shares in, in FBM, and they have the, um, the lithium uh, project called Kangaroo Hills down near Coolgardia, as well as a Nevada Lithium Discovery. If And, and when they prove up a, uh, a 10 million tonne resource at Kangaroo Hills, we will get another 27 million shares. So that's happening in the background. We also have an application at Coolgardia West, which we expect to be granted fairly soon. That's prospect for, for copper and uh, lithium. So hopefully we hit the ground there in the next few months as well. That was Ed Turner, Managing Director of Lodestar Minerals. Ed, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Crystal.